Right then, guys, how's it going? So, it's been very quiet Liverpool-wise during the all Euros and everything like that. But just a bit of housekeeping for you before I get into this video. Monday, I will be live with the AKM Live episode 6, talking about the Euros, like the Liverpool players that are there. And I think, I should have probably checked it before I did this video, the Copper America's started as well, or it's about to start. But whenever, whenever if that is, or it, when it starts, I'll also do updates on how the Liverpool players in that are getting on, you know, like... McAllister, Nunes, Allison, you know, stuff like that. Um, and then as well, what I might do as well, is I might also just do on players from the competitions that I think we might be worth looking at as well. Might have touched, touch on that. Um, I'm back with the transfer links. I'll do the uh, the stat pages that I did uh, on last week's stream. I'll keep it to similar stats per position because I do think it became a little bit confusing and it was a little bit strange. Some of the stats that I were pulling out randomly about how the players were getting on and everything like that. So I'll try and come up with a forum, uh, not a, for, a forum, a formula of hat for each position and stuff like that. But anyway, guys, the point in this video is Nico Williams and Yusuf Fofana. So what I want to do is the Fofana stuff first, because that's pretty, <sighs> it's neither here nor there. But Yusuf Fofana is a player that I've said that I would like Liverpool to go and sign. I think he was linked to us last year. He's in the last year of his contract now. He's a defensive midfielder. He was ranked the best midfielder in League One, you know, League Earn the um, last season. And caught offside, which is not really that thing of a place that you'd really touch on, but they have mentioned that Liverpool are generally interested in Yusuf Afana, and it's the first thing I've seen regarding him and Liverpool this summer. So I just thought I'd bring it to your attention a little bit there. Keep an eye on it. I have said for a little bit to keep an eye on it. Um, but yeah, Yusuf Afana is a player I would hope Liverpool sign this year. So, back to the Nico Williams stuff. Now, a lot of aggregator accounts I saw in X yesterday, and the whole point of this video is saying that Fabrizio Romano, and I know a lot of you are probably turning off now that I've mentioned that guy, um, <laughs> said in a video that Liverpool were interested. And a lot of sites were running with that, saying Liverpool are interested in Nico Williams, blah, 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 blah. Romano said this, but... He didn't say that, guys, right? What he actually said, if you watch the video, which I watched that segment on it, he talked about Barcelona first, how they've had an interest in him for years and that they would not be able to do it due to financial reasons. You know, they may be able to do it afterwards. He talked about Chelsea that next and Nico Williams said that they looked at Williams last year but decided to go for Cole Palmer. And then he just briefly mentioned that... Um, Liverpool and Arsenal have discussed Nico Williams now for a couple of months and I've asked to keep up to date with him. Now, Nico Williams is a player who has a quite a small um, transfer release clause. I think Romano said yesterday it was something like 59 million euros, which is what, 50 million pounds maybe, potentially. Now, if you do look at his stats for the whole of last year, guys, he has... Oh, where's it gone now? Why is it like this? Bear with me a moment, guys. In fact, well, since I've got this up, he'd has, he did have a few injuries last year. Um, he had an abductor injury that kept him out for three games during September. He then had another abductor pain injury in December that kept him out for one game. He then pulled his hamstring against Real Madrid, which kept him out for one game as well. And this is La Liga only, guys. I've not checked Champions League or anything like that. Um, and then he also pulled his hamstring again in May which he missed one league game with that. So, overall, if I can just get back to the... Yeah, here we go. This is his page here. So, for the whole of last year, including the Euros as well so far, 39 appearances, 8 goals, 19 assists, which is pretty good. Um, for the La Liga, he made 76% of the starting 11s, and he completed 67% of the minutes. I've just talked about his um, injury. However, guys... His goal participation, which obviously includes goals, assists, yada, 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 was at 31% of the whole of Athletic Bilbao for the whole of last year in La Liga, which is pretty good considering, you know, he missed a quarter of the games um, of last year and he's still up there in regards to the numbers. Now, some of you may know that Nico Williams' brother, Iñaki Williams, a little bit older than him, he was linked with Liverpool many years ago. Um, and he basically turned around and said that he did have a, ch a chat with Liverpool and that there were contacts, but he said that his position was made clear that he wanted to stay at, at Athletic Bilbao. Now, Athletic Bilbao are one of these clubs in Spain where, you know, correct me if I am wrong here, but 
they they like they they only use players from the area. Am I right in saying that? A lot of the players that they have are from there. Um, so if, for instance, Liverpool were to go for him and this 50 million release clause, this is probably prime time to go and get him because if, you know, he will have a release clause added into a new contract that will exceed 100 million, no doubt, guys, 100%. Like, he is only, what, 21 years of age. His contract doesn't expire till 2027. Um, he signed his new contract in December, so it's pretty recent. So maybe he won't get a new contract anytime soon. Um, he's right-footed and he plays out on the left wing, so he would come in onto that side. He do he can also play in the opposite wing, but he would. <laughs> we're kind of a bit overloaded on that side, aren't we? To be fair, in regards to all of this, um, the players that are, the team, sorry, that are most likely being linked with him are Arsenal, Bayern Munich right now, according to transfer market. So, yeah, guys, that was it. I just wanted to bring to your attention that a lot of aggregators are saying this about him and Romano said this, that and the other, but they didn't. He mentioned Liverpool very briefly. Um, but he hasn't really lit up the world in the Euros, has he, guys? Sorry, guys. Um, like, his two appearances, he's, come, he's in the starting 11 for the both games and he's been subbed off a few times as well. No goals, no assists, no nothing, really, in, in regards to that. So, sorry, guys, I've got a fever. <laughs> That's why I was touching my nose then. Um, but, yeah, that's it, guys. Let me know what you think about this lad, Nico Williams. Um, again, you're probably not going to see many um, transfer links with solid players until after the Euros and the Copa America, you know, depending on where they're playing and where they're up to in regards to all this. Because if that you go and buy that player and then he gets injured in the tournament, then you're fucked, basically, aren't you? Um, so yeah, let's just keep it like that, guys. I guess for the time being, probably what you know, we might see a few links when teams start getting eliminated that Liverpool are interested in their players. So let's keep an eye on that. So right then, guys, that's it for this video. I'll maybe back, I'll be back tomorrow with paper talk if there's anything worth talking about. And then other than that, I'll be having the AKM live on Monday, quarter past seven on here, Twitch and X. So if you want to come watch, come watch it, guys. And yeah, guys, hope you all have a great weekend, and I'll speak to you all later.